Hello, hello, and happy Labor Day to everybody. This is Jennifer at Creative Arts Spark, and today we're going to make some little covered paper clips, make decorative paper clips. You can use them for your planners, you can use them at work, put them on your file folders, clip them on your refrigerator, you can do all sorts of things with paper clips, and who doesn't love a paper clip? So let me show you what I have done here. I've made these little paper clips. And then, I, well, I didn't make the paper clip. I decorated these little paper clips, and they're functional, okay? So you see some things that we've made in other demos. There's the little dimensional flowers. Here's one with two or three little centers that are dimensional, okay? I've covered some of these with fingernail polish some of them i have daubed with ink some of them are my border papers that i designed i've put butterflies on them i love butterflies in case you can't tell i just love butterflies i put sequins on them i've put whoa does this look familiar y'all look here i painted my fingernails last night i got a little crazy and then I had to go downstairs because I got so high from the smell of the cheap fingernail polish that I was out of it. But I, here I just put some blotches of fingernail polish instead of sequins. So you can do all sorts of things. So what we're going to do, let me get my paper clips. That's the one thing I forgot to do. Okay. So here's my little box that holds my paper clips. I made the little box using my Cricut machine, and then I put a Prima flower on top of it. And you open it up and look at all the paper clips. Now, I like the smooth paper clips, but I've got a bunch of the ridged ones also. Those kind of grab your pages if you're using them in your Bibles or using them on delicate pages. So I tend to go for the smooth jumbo paper clips. <coughs> Those are the ones that I like. <clears throat> We're having an allergy moment, probably because of the fingernail polish. So I apologize in advance. I'm going to be croaky all day. All right, we're going to put the lid back on our little paper clip box and put it away. And I've got one more thing to show you here. Where did it go? So last night, before I got crazy and painted my fingernail my fingernails, I made another little rose out of my old book pages. And I'm going to tell you a hilarious story. I got a text message from a friend of mine who said, Jennifer, we love your flowers, but uh, we saw something you might need to know about. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what? And so <laughs> they sent me a copy of one of the photos that I had posted on Facebook and said, enlarge it and tell me what you see. And you know, I've told you over and over and over again, Scan your pages before you make something out of them. Be sure there are no dirty words on there. Well, there was a huge, horrible, dirty word, so I had to go back and repaint my flower, find as many of those posts that I could find, and swap out the photo. So do as I say, not as I do, which is what I was always told as a child. That'll keep you out of a little bit of trouble. Anyway, I made this little... Uh, flower from old book pages and I glued it onto one of my already altered paper clips and I'm going to be using that on my planner page for the week every week and I just thought that was a pretty little thing and that's where I got the idea to show you how I do these. I think that I learned how to do this from um, treasure books but I'm not 100% sure but I'd say it was probably treasure books or Lollipalooza on YouTube. So what I've done, I've cut my paper into one and a half inch strips. Let's move these out of the way. And I'm going to take a paper clip and I'm going to take my trusty ookie glue. Put your hair up. Messy bun. No glue in your hair. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to tentatively wrap my paper clip. Okay. You see how I'm doing that? And I want to get it straight. So I'm going to take it off the paper clip and I'm going to come back on. 
and I'm gonna row once and I'm gonna row again okay and then I'm gonna press so that I can see where to trim my page and this is where in the past I got confused and I made and I love them don't get me wrong I made a lot of these and I used them as tassels in my journals but they're not functional but listen doesn't that sound cool and so I've got a bunch of these made too and you, oh, you, you just skip one step to make these okay so here is where I'm gonna cut let me put my glasses on and I'm just gonna cut right there okay and that folds up just like that all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna take our glue and you can use any kind of glue with this you could use art glitter glue you could use plaid whatever this is just the one that I saw handy on my desk so we're gonna fold that up and glue it okay and before it dries you want to stick the wide part of your paper clip down in there just like that and now you have a functional paper clip and when you turn it over you can't really tell that it's a paper clip so it's ready to be decorated now so let's do a couple more I cut out several pages these pages are from kits that I used to get from spell binders okay I used to get um, monthly stamping uh, card making kits from spell binders and these beautiful papers were in there so here is this one and here is this one we'll do two more so again you want to lay your paper clip on there see there wrap it around and now I want to take it off I want to make sure my ends are even just like that stick my paper clip back in there wrap it again and you will find as you go that paper clips are not even but that's okay we're not striving for perfect we are striving for pretty because we are all about making things inexpensively that bring us joy that's what this is about now I'm gonna set this right here I'm gonna crease that so I can see it to cut it and I'm gonna come along right here I'm gonna cut okay and I'm gonna do the same that paper clip goes with that and we're gonna do the same thing with this one we're gonna set our paper clip on there and we're gonna fold and see how crooked and you can trim those up if you want to I'm just gonna lay it right here and do that okay now this cheap nail polish is already starting to flake off because I've done dishes and I've glued things and done several other things but I had fun doing that last night so there's one I blame it on COVID by the way and there's two and now we're gonna make our crease right there so that we know where to cut okay we're gonna come along and snip that off okay so now we're gonna and see how crooked that is so I'm gonna come I, I cut crooked obviously I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna do that right there so that the little edges don't show okay I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put it on this outside edge and I'm gonna glue it okay then I'm gonna put the long edge down in there and I like to have where this little seam is I like to have that to the back of the paper clip okay 
All right, let's see how this one, yep, I cut that one crooked too. So let's do this again. Straighten that up. Pop some glue there. Do that and drop our paper clip down in there and voila. Okay. Now the next thing you can do, and I'm not gonna sh I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I don't know where my art glitter glue is, but you can push this open and drop a, a drop of art glitter glue down in that hole there, and then pinch your paper clip, paper your, pinch your paper shut. That's going to keep it from sliding up and down on your paper clip. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't know where my art glitter glue is. I have not cleaned up. Okay, so there, very quickly, we have done three decorative paper clips. Now, I've got some chipboard from Prima. And I'm going to, instead of using things that I've made, I'm going to just quickly pop some stuff on here because I'm just going to do a very quick little video. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Everybody likes mason jars. Everybody likes butterflies. So let's see. We need three things. There's a Scrabble tile. That looks cute on there, doesn't it? Let's put this mason jar over here on this one, I like that. And then I saw a small butterfly and a large butterfly. Let's use that. Let's look to see if there's anything else. If you were doing a journal about your your marriage or your wedding, there's one that says our love. You could just do, you could do all kinds of things. You could trailer, tailor these to the kind of journal that you're doing. You could tailor them to your Bible journaling, tailor them to your planner. Oh, I like that. What does that say? Oh, happy day. We're going to use that instead of the Scrabble thingy. Right there. Okay, let me get these back in the bag. These are really thick. They're thicker than what I've normally been putting on my paper clips, but I think they'll be fun. And like I say, it was quick. I just grabbed them and, and ran, basically. Grabbed them off my cart and decided to use them. Okay, I've got those put up. That's half of the battle. I dropped one in the floor. I can't do anything without dropping something on the floor. Y'all know that. All right, so now we're going to, let's see here. I think the yellow butterfly, there we go. All right, the one thing you want to do, remember to check the back of your paper clip. Have the open end of your paper clip pointing down. Okay, that way your artwork on the front of your paper clip is going to be facing the right way when you clip it on something. So we're going to add glue and we're going to pop this right down like that. Okay. So there is number one. We're going to do the same thing with this cute little mason jar. I don't know what the attraction about mason jars is, but they are, or mason jar, I don't know what the attraction is about mason jars, proper English, Jennifer, but they are really cute. Okay, check the paper clip, and it's pointed down, and we're going to position that right there. Just like that. Okay. Check 
Uh-huh. See, I would have been caught. My butterfly would have been upside down. So I'm going to turn this the right way. This time I'm going to put glue on the butterfly just in the center because its wings, of course, are going to be hanging off the paper clip. I'll find my glue and put glue lid and put the lid on it. I'm going to check this one last time. It is pointed the right way. And we're going to pop that butterfly on there just like that. All right. The next step is going to be to add some yarn. And I didn't think to set any yarn out. So I'll be right back. Let me grab some. Okay, these are decorative yarns that my mama gave me. And we're going to use, ooh, look at that. Okay, that's going with my mason jar. Can I find the end? Yep. Okay, mason jar done. Where's the end of this one? We don't know. Okay, we're gonna just cut it. Poo yeah, that's and a little bit of sorry yarn, I believe. Okay. So this one I'm not going to use. Okay. Now this I always have to think about. But I think... Let's see, where's my needle? Okay, this is where the video gets long and boring. Okay, we're gonna put those like that and we're gonna get a string. Okay, I'm gonna lay it right there. Fold that over. And then we're gonna take our string and we're going to Pop it right in there like that. And struggle. <laughs> okay. It's not wanting to cooperate, is it? Too thick. So we'll do it in two sets. Okay, maybe since it's so thick, it only needs two. And we'll just take a look and see. Can't believe I'm struggling so with this. paper clip through here and I'm going to keep one side 
on the front, perhaps, and one side on the back. There we go. All right. Difficult. Why did it have to be so difficult? Okay, we're going to even these up. And then I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to tie it around. Well, now you get to watch me struggle making a knot. Okay, that's getting on my nerves. We'll come out with some of this. We'll put a little bit of red in there just for a color pop. biggest reason we're doing this is just to hold that yarn in place so I've spent forever boring you about getting yarn tied in place so I apologize for that things never go quite as planned in these videos do they all right there's our first one we're gonna push that up just a smidge okay there's our first clip This next one, I'm going to run it through and glue it. Piece of sorry ribbon here. I had purchased some sorry ribbon off of Amazon. And we're just going to glue that. That looks pretty. Doesn't have to be quite that long. We'll make it about that long. And we'll do that one. Okay, we will add some fabric tack just in the center. I'm going to fold our sari ribbon over and hold it just a minute to make sure it sticks. And our butterfly is done. And once it gets good and dry, I'll come back and get all the glue goobers off of it. All right, let's see. Can we thread this one now? We're going to do one, two, I'm going to poke it through. Maybe. There we go. Looky there. Eureka. And then I'm going to double it back over itself like that. Okay. I'm going to trim it. Just a smidge, just like that. And then I'm going to do just like I did the mason jar and I'm going to tie this one around it just to keep it from slipping. So I've tied a knot. And then I'm going to, well, I don't know if I'm going to trim that one or not. Okay, so there are our quickie three paper clips. Just like that. Didn't take too awful long. Of course, it would have been a lot quicker if I hadn't fumbled on getting my threads through there. But those are quick and easy ways to make little decorative things just to bring a smile in your business day or just to, just to make you happy because that's what art is about. So if you've liked this video, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Don't forget to tap the bell 
so that you get notifications of when I upload new videos. Leave me a comment below and tell me how you use your paper clips. Visit me on Facebook at Creative Art Spark, and I hope to see you soon in YouTube land. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.